Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with my first look at some of the new features in Ubuntu 9.1, or as you might know it as Karmic Koala. This latest release of Ubuntu gives a lot of new features, um, but it's really mostly a polishing release. It includes faster boot times, um, new themes, some smaller things that'll make your life a little, just a little bit easier if you just use Ubuntu every day. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this one started. Okay, so definitely the probably biggest thing in new in Karmic Koala is definitely got to be the Ubuntu Software Center. Before there was something similar, but the problem was it was not. It was kind of a little janky. It wasn't really easy to use. Sometimes it could be a little difficult. And to be honest, it, I mean, even once you found something, it was difficult to really know what you were looking at. Besides just a small little bit of saying, this does this, and that was it. But now, with the Ubuntu Software Center, it looks much nicer. Um, you still got all, everything that you had before, but now you can see it easier, you can install it easier, and actually get a little bit of info. So let me show you guys a little bit about what I'm talking about. So let's just go anywhere. We can go into, we'll say, games. Then you can go, and you have this nice menu. You can just scroll through any of the games. And as before, almost all of these are free and open source. Uh, it's 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 a great place, and you know you can actually see them. So you know, let's look around here. Let's look at this one. So you look at it, and once it loads, you will see here that you have the little icon. You have a little. Uh, basically, it explains about it, and it's very simple. You see, the, it says open source, and it basically says it's free, and you can install it or go to the website. And so let's go back and just pick a random other one. Pick another one. And you see here, it'll do the same thing. Um, now, if you see here on the right, you see this little spinning wheel. Almost always, there's a screenshot. But for some reason, it's not working right now. I don't know. It might just be glitch for, because it did come out yesterday. I don't know what. But that's not loading right now. But it, it usually does show you a screenshot over there. So, you know, it, it should be probably working by the time you see this. Um, and, of course, there's tons of different things just like before. I mean, you can go into, like, Internet. And, I mean, you know, you can see... I mean, different browsers, you can see uh, different, I mean, like BitTorrent clients. I mean, all kinds of different stuff. And likewise, I mean, you see system tools, um, graphics, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Also, now you have installed software as well. So that all of the software that you have already installed, you can really easily just look through. So let's just take a look here and see what we want. Fine, let's just grab a oh, movie player. So I have to just open it up. And then it will basically show you what you have. Like it said, you see the whole description and everything. And then you can scroll down. And it, you can go ahead and remove it or go to the website. So it's simple to go ahead and remove software as well. So yeah, that's Ubuntu Software Center. Um, I've only been using it for just a little while now. But so far, it looks much better. It's really nicely polished, very simple to get around, and it's a really nice addition to Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and go to the next new thing in Ubuntu, Karmic Koala. Another new feature in Karmic Koala has got to be themes. Now of course there's always been themes, you could always add them and everything, but there are a couple new themes and they do look quite nice. You see here what I'm using now is dust, and it's very a very sleek looking theme. So like if you see, I just open up something random like this. See, it runs really nicely and smooth, but it also looks good. A lot of people kind of bomb on Ubuntu for you know because it usually has the human theme. It's very brown and not very exciting, or it just looks kind of bland. But there are some already nice pre-built themes. And of course you can customize the themes very simply. And you can also install your own themes or download them. So you know it, it really it seems like a small thing to just include a couple more. But some of these are really nice looking and it does really kind of Linux has kind of fallen and you know Mac OS 10 and uh, Windows 7, they've all really stepped up the eye candy game. So it's nice to see that Ubuntu is also trying to keep up with it and doing a pretty decent job too. One. Another new feature in Ubuntu has got to be Firefox 3.5. Now it might seem a little odd considering that obviously Firefox 3.5 has been out for quite a while now. But 
for Ubuntu, it has actually not. You've been basically been stuck with either 3.0 or you could manually install 3.5. It was a little difficult and it definitely was not automatic at all. But now Firefox 3.5 is currently installed automatically. You don't have to do anything. And it is 3.5.3, I will note, um, which is one off from the latest. But I'm sure this has just come out today, or uh, rather yesterday. I'm sure that it will be updated in the next couple days. But of course, it's Firefox 3.5. It's much faster than original 3. Um, runs really nicely and smoothly. And of course, it's totally feature complete compared to the Mac and the Windows version. So no worries there. Now, Ubuntu 9.1 is definitely not a massively new release. It brings some definitely some new features, such as the software center, um, and some and some smaller behind the scenes things that definitely do seem to speed it up a bit. Um, one of the larger add-ons has definitely been the speed up in boot times and shutdown times. Um, in my informal testing, I've saved b between five and ten seconds on the boot up time, and at least five seconds in the shutdown time. Um, now that's not saying much in the realm of you know the latest OS is saying oh yeah well, we'll turn on in 10 seconds and this and that, but it's nice to see that they're really working towards really getting it to boot up and shut down very quickly, and you can definitely notice that. Um, you know there are a lot of different smaller tweaks like I said, but to be honest, this latest release is not a huge improvement. It's n there's nothing revolutionary. It's mostly just a smaller just features here a little bit here, a little bit there, really just to keep it moving. And if you consider it that way, they did a really good job. Um, you know, if you're using Ubuntu 9.04, you won't really notice a massive difference. You'll notice small things here and there. But it's, it's a really polished looking release. It really works well. And of course, the next release is probably going to be much larger with a more substantial update. And this is kind of just a bridge between then and now. So, of course, if you have never tried Ubuntu or Linux in general, obviously, you know, I recommend it. It's free. Um, it doesn't take a really, it doesn't take hardly anything at all to install it. Um, you can use VirtualBox, or you can dual boot, or you can just install it straight up on any computer you like. Um, it is free, and it's open source, so you can, you're totally free to edit it and do whatever you want with it. And it's really just a good release and I definitely recommend you know guys go check this out anyway thanks for watching